Hi guys, Rob here from Scannable, and I am really excited to show you our rope traceability solution here, where we have our rope serial creation facility on our web app, and our Sato printer that we have integrated into our software. This solution is designed with anyone in mind that is cutting and or splicing or sewing lengths of rope. And that could be manufacturers, resellers and distributors, or even large equipment owners who are buying enough rope that they're processing it themselves. So I'm gonna start this process by creating a serial number for this length of rope using our Create Rope Serials tool here. We have over 25,000 products and part numbers worth of information in the system, and that includes the majority of the ropes on the market. So if I search for Journaline 500, I will pull up the Journaline 11.8 500 meter box in blue, and I'm gonna enter the box batch number or lot number for that this rope was cut from and I will also enter here the date of manufacture. If you're cutting down from these boxes regularly and you're regularly selling or cutting the same length, then any of your previously created rope lengths will be available for you to reselect, or you can start to define the specific length of this. I'm gonna call this a 35 meter with a demo splice. I've previously set up my splice to include all of the credentials of the certification and the splicer. And we ask you for a part number and a SKU or product name. And I'm going to call this a DL 35 meter one splice. Drena line 35 meter one splice. Let's say I'm going to create 10 serials or 10 rope labels during this process. I'm going to add that rope to this workflow. You can add multiple ropes to your workflow. If you are starting your day as a retailer with back orders to fulfill, you can group the 10 or multiple rope serials you're going to create by entering things like a customer reference number their purchase order number, your sales order number, or any batch number that you want to use for this cutting and splicing process. And I'm going to choose here the serial format that I want to use for this process. And I'm creating those 10 rope serial numbers now. They're now available for me to print so on the right hand side, I'm click the options button and I'm gonna click, I'm gonna print the first label for this demo. This laptop's on the Wi-Fi, this print is connected by Ethernet cable to the internet. And we've just printed out a label with the product name that I've entered, Adrenaline 35 meter one splice. It includes the diameter and the certifications of the rope that we've pulled through from the Teufelberger data in the system, the new serial number, the box or batch number, lot number, and the original rope date of manufacture. We also here have a unique QR code for this particular length of rope and the indication that you can tap your phone against this label that has an NFC inlay built into it. So I'm going to apply that label to this length of rope, put it under tension. Today, the way the printer is set up, it is not doing the NFC process at the moment. It will in the next two to three months. So the next step is the current process for anyone using our printer. They can open the scannable app, 
and log in to the same account that you're creating the rope labels from. And you can then do a very simple process of scanning. And you're going to scan the QR code. pulls up the unique record for this length of rope, options, add NFC, and tap the phone up against the label. And that's you associated the NFC tag in the label with the data that you've printed onto the rope label. That step won't be necessary for too long. If I change accounts now and go into my personal account using the scannable app as an end user when I receive this length of rope I can either tap my phone up against it to scan the NFC tag and reference the information about this rope length including all of the Teufelberger specifications that have been inherited from the data in our system and connected to this rope length Equally, if your end customer or a member of staff doesn't have the scannable app installed, they can do two things. They can use the camera on their phone to scan the QR code, which allows them to open the unique web address for this length of rope. And here they can reference any of the information that they might need to know, date of manufacture, splices, credentials, etc. And equally, they can tap their phone against the label because it has the NFC tag built in and open that same web address. And that's really where Scannable starts to deliver a durable solution. We do sell pre-cut lengths of heat shrink that retailers and end users and even manufacturers can put over these labels to increase the durability but inevitably the heat shrink gets scratched it gets grayed out due to uv and the line of sight disappears you will not always be able to read this information on a rope label but because it's nfc you won't need to you can tap your phone up against it outside of the scannable app or using the scannable app in order to reference how old your rope is, who it was assigned to, and what its history is. Thanks.